and welcome to my page uh, dedicated to lip tattoo removal so if you're here you're probably looking at what your choices are when it comes to removing lip tattoo um, so I'm gonna make a few assumptions and hopefully we can take it together first thing I'm gonna assume is that this is probably old pigment that has been done possibly in both inside and outside your lip line now if it's old pigment chances are that it's gone white that the pink or red has left and the larger molecules which are titanium dioxide have remained in your lips it's not easy to get this off and the way i do it is by doing two, three, maybe even four non-laser treatments, and then going in with a laser. When I go in with a laser, the, what will happen is the above. It will go dark, and then it will need another two to three laser sessions for the dark to go and for us to have complete results. If you're looking at this video because you've just had lip tattoo done and it's just too bright, hold on, don't panic for six weeks because my experience is that it will go down by 60, 70% and it will look very, very natural. Now, the other, um, the other cases that I get through a lot are people that were tattooed above the lip line, above the vermilion border. And of course, now we have a situation where the area outside the border of the lip has faded to a different color texture-ish than the area inside. Why? Because the lips is very different skin to the rest of our skin. And it might look very good for a year, year and a half, maybe even two years, but when it really starts to fade, it's going to look very different to the rest of your lips. Generally, in those cases, what I try to do is I try to remove only what is outside of the lip line. By doing this, we tend to be able to make the area look a lot more natural without putting you through the full removal process, which look, it's painful, it's expensive, it's not nice. Uh, so we want, I want to minimize your pain in every way as much as possible. If you have any questions, you can always drop them in the comments. I also do free video consultations. Uh, so even if you're not in the UK and you're panicking, feel free. I'm happy to give you five minutes of my time to in, in order for you to understand what you need to be looking for in a practitioner. Uh, so by all means, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments or on my WhatsApp in my website. We get back to everyone. I hope this helps.